If the internet speed that you're paying for is not matching the speed that you see on your laptop or your device or even your TV, then let me tell you, I feel your pain. I pay for one gigabyte internet. And when I recently checked the internet speed on my laptop, it was 240 megabytes per second. So basically a thousand megabytes per second is what I'm promised, but I'm only seeing 200 megabytes per second on my laptop. So I'm gonna show you five ways to improve the speed of your internet in your office or your home. Now, the first way to boost the speed of your internet on your laptop is to make sure that your transmit power is set to the highest setting. Now you can do this in Windows by going to device manager, clicking on network adapters, and then finding your Wi Fi card, double clicking that, and then going to transmit power and changing the value from lowest to highest. The fastest way to get better speeds on your laptop is to change that transmit power setting. However, what about all the other devices in your home? So, the best way to give everybody great Wi Fi in your home or office is to get a mesh Wi Fi system. And this is actually a sneak peek into point number five of this video. Now, this video is sponsored by Motorola, and they sent over their Q14 Wi Fi system. And we're going to talk about exactly how this equips your entire office or home with the best Wi-Fi signal possible. But let's go ahead and jump into point number two. If you wanna boost your Wi-Fi speeds in the proximity of a singular room, then a router is a good upgrade to make. The routers that internet providers give to you are pretty subpar and they push out, as you saw with my example, a minimal amount of the actual megabytes per second that they are promising at the road. Now, what happens is internet providers are sending a signal to the box at the road in front of your office or house. Now that signal has to get transmitted from the road to your office or your home. From there, it goes through a subpar router, which then pushes a subpar signal into your home and provides you with subpar service. Hence the 240 megabytes per second I'm receiving instead of the 1000 megabytes per second I have been promised. Now this sounds like a big game from internet service providers, but of course in the fine print, they tell you all of these details about the actual signal promised is not how much internet speed you're actually going to get once it leaves your router, which is why it leaves you to buy a better router. Oh, and a little bonus in case you didn't know, if you read the fine print in your contract, there's a lot of internet provider contracts that actually have you renting this device from them. So you could be paying upwards of $25 a month to have a subpar router in your home. So you could actually buy a new router and go ahead and return this router and then be saving money on a monthly basis. Now, Motorola has some great routers. And to give you an example of how much power improvement you could get by choosing a better router, I went ahead and pulled one of the devices out of the mesh system and used it as a singular router in my office. And just in my office alone, I went from 240 megabytes per second to over 600 megabytes per second, proving that the router was a huge bottleneck in my system, improving the Wi Fi connection in my office substantially. So that's great. I have better Wi Fi speeds in my office, but my wife is not exactly going to be happy if I'm the one with the fastest Wi-Fi speeds and she still has the lowly 200 megabytes per second. What I did is I took the two other Q14 mesh devices and placed them strategically in my house. And now I had full internet speed in the living room, dining room, kitchen, bedrooms, and even the back porch on my house. I love how the Q14 system was designed to blend in with other smart home technology, like connected speakers and security system devices. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the Q14 tri-band mesh Wi-Fi system, I'll put links in the description below. Now, if you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, the next thing to do if swapping the router did not change the performance on your laptop, neither did switching the transmit power value you is to actually swap the Wi-Fi card on your laptop. Now, this is something that takes a little bit more technical knowledge, but it is not impossible. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there showing you how to do so. Now, you can actually check the Wi-Fi card you have installed in your laptop by heading back to Device Manager, going to Network Adapters, and then looking for the little Wi-Fi card under Network Adapters. I have an Intel Wi-Fi 6E card. That's a very fast card. That is one that's gonna be kind of the top of the line. So what you can do is check your model number, cross-reference it on the internet, and see what people are saying about your Wi-Fi card. See if it has good speed or bad speed, and if it's worth making the upgrade. Now, the next thing to consider is a booster. 
So let's say that you have decent signal coming out of your router, except it's just not making it to a certain part of your house, and that is giving you a poor experience. So you can go ahead and pick up a booster or an extender, and that will push the signal further into your house. However, the only issue I find with extenders is they have to be in sight of the original router. So your router is going to want to see your extender, and then you are going to want to see that extender. If you can see the device, it's going to give you good signal. As soon as you get behind a wall or through floors or ceilings, that's where signals start to fade quickly because it can't get through those walls that you have in your house or office. So extenders are great, however, you can't hop from extender to extender to extender to increase your Wi-Fi signal. The actual signal delineates over time and some Wi-Fi extenders don't allow you to pair multiples together to get you throughout your house. So extenders are really good for like small apartments or small homes. Now let's go ahead and talk about the best way to improve the overall Wi-Fi experience for any device within your home or office. And that is with a mesh Wi-Fi system. Now, as I mentioned, I have before me the Motorola Q14 tri-band mesh Wi-Fi system. This is a 6E system. The reason that the 6E system is important is the advancement in technology and the channels it provides. So we've started out with 2.4 gigahertz, then we moved to 5 gigahertz, then 6 gigahertz, and now we have 6E. So basically in a nutshell, to cut through all the jargon, a 6E system has more channels than any system beforehand, whether it be 2.4, 5, or 6 gigahertz. So what that means is that each device on the network is getting its own channel directly connected to the Wi-Fi system. Oftentimes you've heard, oh my goodness, this coffee shop is so crowded, the internet is being bogged down. We've all been there in that experience. I gotta find a different coffee shop where there's less people using the internet. Well, when you have a 6E system, you have more channels going out to all those devices and therefore it doesn't bog the internet down. Now, on top of that, these devices are creating a whole network of signal within your house. So one starts at your access point where your internet taps into your house. The next one you wanna connect within proximity and view of the original router. From there, you put it a little bit farther throughout your house and that provides a mesh system covering every inch of your house. Now, when I originally went ahead and plugged this system in, in my office, I went from 240 megabytes per second up to over 610 megabytes per second. So I almost got three times the speeds on this system directly in my office. Now I thought, okay, how is this going to do as we move throughout the house? I went ahead and I hooked the system up throughout the house. I tried the living room, dining room, family room, and I even went out on my back porch and I never saw below the high 400s megabytes per second. Now keep in mind, I was originally seen from my crappy router, which I was literally four feet from at 240 megabytes per second. So now I'm getting two times the speeds even outside of my home. The system enables access to the new six gigahertz band for Wi-Fi. 6E devices, freeing up the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands for lower latency and faster speeds on all of your devices. It supports Wi-Fi speeds up to 5.4 gigabytes per second for over 100 connected devices. Using the MotoSync app powered by Minim, you can access the newest feature, which is the manual channel selector. This allows you to manually select a specific channel to help tweak and optimize your internet in your home. Using the MotoSync app, you can even set up parental controls, threat scans, and ad blocking is all included on this system. These features, which come free on the MotoSync app, can cost up to $99 a year on similar applications. Now, anytime I, in the past, have heard of a system like this, I think, okay, great, yeah, that, that sounds awesome, except am I gonna have to literally call my internet provider, have them unhook this one, rehook this one, and it's just gonna be a whole process. Well, it's actually not. The app makes it super easy to set up, and I'm gonna show you in just a couple minutes how to do it. So whether you buy the three router set or the two router set, this is what you'll be looking at. They are basically doppelgangers of each other. So we have one router, I really like, it's like a nice soft touch cloth material. Plastic on top, plastic on the bottom. There's your connectivity along the back side of the router. And then of course, supply and cable. So honestly, an extremely minimal setup we have here. Power supply, cable, router. Buy two, 
covers about 3,500 square feet by three covers about 5,000 square feet. Setting up the system using the Moto Sync app is really simple. Go ahead and scan the QR codes on the bottom of the devices, connect the network, name it, and you're good to go. The Q14 system also features a 2.5 gigabytes per second LAN port. It's capable of running multi-gig internet plans, all of which future-proofs your home network for years to come. Now the Q14 comes in a two-pack or three-pack. I have the three-pack, and though they say that the two-pack covers about 3,500 square feet, if you wanna get maximum reach for all your devices in every corner of your house, I personally would go with the three-pack. Now, if budget constraints and you just don't think you need that much performance throughout the entire house, the two-pack will be suitable, but I think I want maximum range to every corner of my house, so I think the three-pack for me was the way to go. Now, there are a couple different ways, as you've seen, to improve your internet speed, but if overall you wanna give everybody in your house the best internet experience possible, especially with the increasing amount of internet dependent devices, then a mesh system is definitely the way to go. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, of course, I'll put links in the description. If you do use those, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way.